Hello, this is Minister Joshua Wright, aka the Gospel Juke Box, and welcome to Weekly Manor from Heaven. We are in week 40. Yes, it's been 40 weeks since I've been doing Weekly Manor from Heaven, and I'm just thanking and praising God uh, for this opportunity, for this platform. And I just pray that y'all continue rocking with me, that y'all continue tuning in and to seeing what God has in store for me in the future. Um, Weekly Manor from Heaven is a platform where I just share the good news of Jesus Christ. I go into the Old Testament, I go into the New Testament, and I just interpret what the Holy Spirit gives me. So I just pray that this platform is a place of refuge, is a place of learning, that it increases your knowledge of, of God's Holy Word. Now I usually post um, new episodes on my website at www.gjbinc83.com that's every Sunday if you want to watch old episodes or catch up on any episode that you've missed you can go to my YouTube channel type gjbinc83 all one word make sure to like comment and subscribe like let a brother know how he's doing uh, positive constructive feedback is welcome also, I have a merchandise store. Um, I have like the masks, I have shirts, I have hoodies, I have all kind of different things. Um, with the company's logo, you can go to www.storefrontier.com slash gjbinc83, become a patron, purchase something. I have something on there for everybody. So support my ministry, support black businesses. Also, I am excited to report that my clothing line, A King's Heart Apparel, is coming out real soon. I'm putting the finishing touches on it, and as soon it's going to be available to everybody to purchase. Um, so look out for that. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to be giving updates soon for when it's coming out, because it's coming out real soon, and I'm just so excited about my little baby. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father, First of all, God, we just thank you, God, for being God all by yourself. We thank you, Father, for the darling Son, Jesus Christ, who hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross, that we may have a right to the tree of life, Father, and brought us back into fellowship with you, Father. And for that, Father, we just want to say thank you. Father, we just want to thank you, Father, for last night rest, early morning rise, operation on all our limbs and ligaments, just giving us a mind to continue to serve you and function on a daily basis, letting us see a brand new day that we've never seen before with new mercies. Father, they ask you just to give us clean hands and a pure heart and renewing us a right spirit. Take our hearts and mold it, take our minds, transform it, and take our will and conform it to your ways, oh God. If there's anything that's not of you in me right now, Father, that should have uprooted, gutted out of me right now, Father, I want more of you and less of me, Father. Father, this is the day, Father, that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And the reason why I'm going to be glad, I'm yet found in the land of the living, Father. And for that, God, I say thank you, because somebody didn't wake up this morning. Father, it is Mother's Day, Father. Father, I just thank you for the mother that you have blessed in my life, Father, and, and all the other women in my life, Father, that I see as mother figures, Father. Father, I ask you just to touch all mothers everywhere, Father. Just strengthen them and encourage them to be the best mothers that they can be, Father. And Father, for those that are motherless, Father, for, for those that have lo lost their mothers or those motherly figures recently, Father, Father, I ask you just to strengthen their heart father just to touch them and let them know father that you love them that you care for them father father you said you'll be a mother to the motherless father so father i ask you right now to just grieve the the hug on those hearts right now father just touch those heartstrings and just let them know that you care that you love them and that you're still there for them father and just let them reminisce on all the good times they had when they when their mothers were here on this earth father i ask you just to touch each and every viewer listener of this platform father father i just pray that they are blessed by the word that is going to be brought forth on this session father father we just give you all the honor and glory that is due your name father because you're so worthy to be praised father let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be so acceptable in thy sight and these are many blessings we ask upon your darling son jesus name amen amen so this week's weekly manner from heaven is the mother's day edition and who better to celebrate than my own mom? So we had her on some past episodes before. So I'm bringing her back on the show again. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to some and to all my mother, Minister Shirley Wright. Praise God. 
Praise God, everybody. I'm so ecstatic that I could be here once again to give you what thus say the Lord. Like he's like Minister Joshua said, it is Mother's Day. And it's a shout out to all the mothers, whether you are a mother by birth or uh, you're playing a role of a mother. Grandmothers, fathers, whoever stands in the place of a mother this morning, I say happy Mother's Day to you. So without further ado, I just want to give God all glory and praises that he so rightly deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to be with me this morning. I thank you for most of all when I woke up this morning. I woke up and accepted the call to do what thus say the Lord. I just thank you. I praise your name. I give you all glory and honor that you so rightly deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the words of my mouth in the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. I, I just hope everyone is praying up this morning and just having a hallelujah time in the Lord. Even though you might have woke up with a little pain wrecking your body, we are still, as mothers and everybody, found amongst the living. I'm just going to be with you for a short time, but I'm still going to let the Holy Spirit have his way. If you have your Bibles, or if you would just listen to what does say the word law, the word law, the word will be coming from Isaiah, the 66th chapter. And the 13th verse, as one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you, and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You see, in this time and age, the most important quality of a mother, a mom, is godliness. We have to go to God in prayer, asking God for a pure heart. We have to have the heart that even from birth, we love our children. But y'all know sometimes it gets a little grievous. But we have to ask God for that pure heart. It takes the heart of a good mother to raise a child. And again, I say happy Mother's Day. God bless mothers everywhere. Because I'm so thankful to God for all the mothers whom have persevered and have raised children. And to all the mothers that are still raising children. You see, because in Proverbs 22 and 6, it says, train a up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, I'm train up a child in the way he should go when he is young. And when he grows old, he will not depart from it. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to encourage mothers today that may have had a child that have gone on the, on, on the straight. A child that has never listened to a mom or what the mom has to say. We are still praying for him and believing that God is going to bring him to the fold. You see, a lot of times if we do our part and train up a child from which they should go, when they grow old, they have to make that decision. They have to be that, have that determination to do what thus say the Lord. As long as we train them in the right way, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mom, mothers are often a thankless job. We don't get praise enough. But when God entrusted us with our children, we didn't, we didn't, we're not looking for someone to praise us. He has entrusted us. He has gifted those children to us for a reason. We have to love and nurture our children in the mighty name of Jesus. On top of that, there are expectations to be able to do all things. A mom, a child will call on a mom for any and everything. And you'll try to direct them in the right path. And until they're going good, a lot of times they, they forget. Or they don't want to remember what you have taught them in the way of righteousness but I'm here to tell you this morning with God all things is possible you see they want us to be the super mom but in order to be a super mom and a God fearing mom we have to be on the side of God because God is on the mother's side this morning without God I 
could do nothing. Without God, you could do nothing. Without God, a man or a mom or a dad or anyone in the road as a mother could do nothing. Without God, we are all insufficient, y'all. But you have to look up to the hills from which your help come, mothers. In Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first. We have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. <laughs> we have to seek him first, y'all, before we attempt to do anything. If we seek him first, put God first, watch how it change the situation. Mother, it takes a whole lot of prayer, whole lot of praying. In, in, in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17, it says we got to pray with our season. Every day we have to pray for our children as well as ourselves. We have to pray with our season. You know, because I can say, as I was growing up and I wanted to be rebellious, my mother prayed for me. Somebody prayed for me, but she also taught me the meaning of a prayer. She instructed me when I might have to pray for myself. So it's nothing wrong with praying for your children. But the child has to learn and we have to teach them to pray for themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. You see, the, uh, the mother also teaches you to pray when you need something. When a mother, you, you might be, not even be able to call on your mother at a time, but you can always call on Jesus because he's there all the time. He'll never leave us or forsake us. Thank God for Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your mom has to also teach you the meaning of prayer. And as you, when you're younger, when I was young, my mom taught me the Lord's Prayer. And as I grew older and learned the meaning of a prayer, the prayer can be a thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's a prayer. But what, as she taught me the prayer, I never forgot it. Even though I went astray, straight from the church, backslide, black slitten, whatever has some people want to call it, I always remember mama taught me that prayer. And I could always go to that prayer. Mama is gone now, but I still remember mama's love and mama's prayer. Children, remember, remember your prayer. You see, the children needs a mom to be saved, sanctified and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. A mama can be a nurse at times, a doctor, a counselor, even a banker. You see, moms functions on a little sleep. From the time our children are born for the time they grow up, our sleep is never done. A mother's work, y'all, is never done. Most of the time, mom will be up before the kids and go to bed after them. And if they are not a single mom, we are expected to put on our hats as a wife. Hallelujah. Y'all, being a mother is tough. It's a tough role. Whether you are playing in the role of a mother, whether you're a grandparent, a mother, whether you're an adopted mother, some might be fathers that have to stand in the role of a mother, uncles, sisters, aunts, cousins, brothers, what have you. Some of sometimes we have to play the role of a mother. But I'm telling you this morning, being a mother, <laughs> being a mom, y'all, is tough. But I'm here to tell you, I have three sons of my own. Sometimes it was grievous, but God saw me through it. I'm also a grandparent. And you know what? As tough as it is of being a mother, I would not give it up for nothing in this entire world. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that sometimes it hasn't been grievous but in the end with the help of the almighty God he saw me through all my trials and tribulations while raising my children yes society has given us a bum rap 
society often don't even give us the role we should have. Yes, being a mom is hard, y'all. But my God can lift every burden. It doesn't burden me down to be a mother because my God can lift every burden. For his yoke is easy. You don't know what a mother goes through day in and day out. But the almighty God knows. And even sometimes when the kids have grown into adults, when a kid is growing into a dust, that doesn't stop you from being a mother. The heart of a mother. The love is still there. I don't care how old that boy or girl gets. That's still your child. And you are still a mother. Even if they have children of their own. Hallelujah. In Exodus 20 and 12. It states, honor thy father and thy mother but today is Mother's Day and a lot of people want to honor their mothers on Mother's Day but I'm here to tell you Mother's Day is every day we need to honor our mother and appreciate our mother every day while the blood is running warm in her veins and the blood is running warm in, warm in your veins honor your mother because once she close her eyes once she close her eyes it's too late so I be it behooves you right now to give honor where honor is due. Honor your mother, not just today, but every day. <laughs> it's okay to honor on Mother's Day, the, mother, the day that was set aside to honor your mother. There's nothing wrong with that. But every day, y'all, every day, every day, remember that it's Mother's Day. Cherish your mother while she yet lives. If your mother has gone on to glory, all hope is not lost. Because my God tells me he will be a mother to the motherless. Give your flowers to your mother while she is living. Cherish your mom. Hallelujah. When I say give your flowers to your mother, I love you don't cost a thing. And you don't have to flourish me with a bouquet of flowers. I love you doing something special or just being a good child it's happy mother's day it's a happy mother's day when I don't have to go down to the mall because there was a shooting going on when my child was killing the street that's happy mother's day it's a happy mother's day when I don't have to go to the jail to, to sign out my child or to vouch for him or her that's a happy mother's day y'all it's a happy mother's day when you say Thank you, Mom, for all that you've done. I appreciate you. Y'all, it's Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, my mom has gone on to glory. But I'm here to tell you, I don't regret a day in my life where I didn't give my mom her flower while it was, she was due. I never gave her no trouble to go, have to go get me out of jail. She didn't have to go and try to say, to look for me and find out where I was going, where I was. But some of these children these days want to be rebellious. That's your mom. Your mom loves you. And that's why she's concerned and worried about you. So that's what you can give your mom for it to, for to be a happy Mother's Day. Give her your love. Say, I love you. I love you doesn't cost one single cent. You don't have to flourish me with gifts. Just love me and appreciate me in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, because I know a man that sits up high and looks down low. Even though my mother has gone on to glory, he is my mother. He said he'd be my mother when I'm motherless. And I thank God for that. And I'm leaning and depending on his word. Because I, because if my God said it, if my daddy said it, I believe it in the mighty name of Jesus. I call him my father. I call him my mother. I call him a friend. What a friend I have in Jesus. Oh, what a friend. I just wanted to leave you with a few encouraging words. Because I'm reminded when I encourage you, I encourage myself. And I'm truly encouraged this morning. Because right sitting right next to me is one of my sons. 
And I've already talked to other, my other sons and they've given me gifts and what have you. But I'm, I'm just so proud that I have a son that has put his, his hands to the plow and doing what thus say the Lord. I am, that could be, I'm more prouder and, I, and he's showing me much more love than he could ever show me in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> you see, because encourage yourself sometimes. Encourage yourself. Encourage your children to do what thus say the Lord. I, I, I'm saying once again, honor your mother while she still lives. After she's gone, it's too late. You hear what I say? After she's gone, it's too late. No need to be running behind a hearse or, or trying to grab her out the coffin when you can tell her how much you love her while she yet lives. I love you, Lord. I love you because you are my mother while I'm motherless. Hallelujah. Again, I say happy Mother's Day to every mom and every individual that's playing a role as a mother. I say God bless you and I want, I hope God to keep you is my prayer. Again, I say happy Mother's Day. But thank you, Minister Shirley, my mom, for giving such a encouraging message on this Mother's Day. I pray that y'all are all blessed. Go and give your moms a big kiss, a big hug. And yeah. those that mothers are gone, just cherish those memories. Right. And just know that God is there. He's right there all, all the, time the time to wipe away those tears, yeah. to give y'all a hug, yeah. to be an encourager, to be an uplifter, anything like that. Because I, uh, I can only imagine how would it, how would it feel on this day for those that are motherless but remember god is there to soothe your uh yes. grieving spirit your grieving heart so again thank you so much uh mom for giving us such an impact for such a powerful message to the viewers again y'all go in peace god bless and thank you for tuning in to weekly manner from heaven praise god Bye. <laughs>